Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, yeah. So, there's been good things going on and, you know, not so great things. Don't mind the bags going on right here. It's uh, my friend moved and I'm holding some stuff for her, so that's that. But the good news is that my in-laws are not here at the moment. They are staying in Oregon, so when they left, I was doing the 21 Day Sugar Detox, and I finished it, which was great. I did the level 2, which you can have full fat dairy, which is great because I'm, I, it's really hard for me to go without some cream in my coffee, and I had a little bit of cheese on pizzas, but really other than that, I didn't have a lot of dairy. It was just more just for my coffee. And it went really well. I mean, the only thing is I didn't weigh myself before I started. And so I weighed myself maybe a day or so after I ended. And I'm guessing I lost about three pounds from the detox, approximately. I wasn't counting calories, so I wasn't expecting like a giant drop. And I wasn't really portioning the way I should have been. Like I was just kind of just eating like protein and veggies galore whatever I wanted so a pound a week is actually not that bad um I also have been trying to stay as paleo as possible I actually got on this new app called my paleo my paleo pal and um I've been enjoying it where you just basically it's like an Instagram of paleo food so you get to see what everyone's eating all the time so I've been really liking that um, but the past two days I've been eating, I've had some gluten, like yesterday I went to IHOP, um, cause it's like really the only, like, place out of the house that my son will actually eat food from. Uh, so I ordered the chicken fried steak and it was either get that with like the broccoli and the mashed potatoes and pay more or get it with the breakfast items and pay less. So I was like, I want hash browns and eggs with mine, and it comes with pancakes, and I wasn't planning on eating the pancakes, but then I did. So, like, the breading on the thing, and then the pancakes, so it was just a disaster. And then today I um, went to, like, an Asian buffet, and I really didn't have a lot of glue in there, but I did have sugar. Uh, I ate mostly, like, chicken with some white rice. And um, sesame balls, which is like the rice balls with the sesame seeds on top and the red bean paste inside, I guess, bean, I don't know, beans are gluten free, right? But it's still sugar, it's just like high carb, and I feel like crap right now, like, on the way home from Whole Foods, I ate a bag of dried mango, so just all this sugar, I feel really like crap, but I'm trying to keep this in mind and how I feel and not do this because I have a I'm actually going to Rhode Island I live if you don't know I live in California and I'm flying to Rhode Island in the middle the middle of June from to visit my mom and I have a whole bunch of clothes that I would like to fit in by the time I get there and I'm like once I need to drop like a size, you know, to fit in these clothes, like they fit tight, and I don't want to wear tight clothes on vacation, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, I have a whole bunch of uh grocery hauls to upload, so you'll probably get those all at once. Um, I don't know if I should put them together or just do them as separate, I might do them as separate, but yeah, that's what's been going on in my life right now. Sorry to be just like rambling on, but. Yeah, I just wanted to do an update. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. I'm just trying to eat paleo um, with heavy, full fat heavy cream as my only dairy that I'm having. And basically sugar free, like a whole 30 kind of way of eating. But not like strict, strict. Like an in-between of a whole 30 and a 21 day sugar detox. And I basically want to keep that as a lifestyle because I definitely had really bad 
stomach problems when I started eating gluten again, like really bad. My face, it, I, I just been eating gluten for a couple of days and I'm already breaking out. Um, yeah. As soon as I, on week three of the 21 day sugar detox, my stomach issues went away. Like my skin started feeling better. I stopped feeling puffy in my face. My rosacea went down. So I definitely have a gluten intolerance and I can't ignore that even though I have a food addiction. I just need to focus on eating better foods and foods that don't contain gluten. So that's what I'm working on right now. Hopefully I can make some videos. Um, trying to get ready for this trip. Try to record some motivational videos so that way I can actually help other people be motivated as well as help myself. So well, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next, next video. Bye.